Too many people have been saying Reno, Nevada is the next Silicon Valley. Yeah, we got people moving out this way and they're wondering, is California coming straight to Reno? Are they taking over? Is everybody super rude in Reno like they are in California? People not know how to drive? We don't say that. No. These are what people tell us. Yeah, exactly. And it's a question we get asked all the time. So in this video, we're covering, is Reno too much like California? Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel, guys, or welcome back. I'm Joe Hannick. I'm Ryan Chikvara. We do all things living in Reno. Um, today's gonna be a fun one. It might be a uh, little sore subject for some people, but what are we talking about today, Ryan? Well, we wanted to address one of the questions we get asked most from people that reach out to us. Shout out to all those people, subscribe, like, all that different stuff. Yep. Um, but we get a question all the time, and it's basically, has Reno become too much like California, right? Do, do all the people that have moved from the Bay Area, all that different stuff, are they bringing all their traffic, all their politics, all their uh, maybe good restaurants? So we want to go over all that today. Terrible driving. Yeah. Right. We know you guys drive terrible. Um, that's a fact. Yep. But wanted to cover that. Is uh, Reno, Nevada, turning into a mini California? Mini Bay Area, maybe a mini LA. Right. We got so many people moving up this way. We actually just looked in uh, LA. Just fun little fact for you. Um, for all the people moving out of LA, Reno is the uh, the third most moved to place on that list um, of where they go. So. Number one was Austin, Texas. Two was Vegas, and then uh, four and five were in whatever order, Orlando and Miami. Yeah, so. and it makes sense. We're obviously <clears throat> just over I-80 over the hill from Sacramento. We are super close, but we're gonna dive into it right away. Yeah. Um, We've been called the, the next mini Silicon Valley, right? Exactly, yeah. All the stuff that moved out off of USA Parkway out there. We talk about this in some of our other videos as well, but you've got Tesla, you've got Google, you've got Walmart, you've got a bunch of, of, of different, yeah, there, yeah. a bunch of different stuff that's moved out that way, right? Definitely. So. And a lot of small startups and tech companies have made their way over the hill. Uh, and that's due to different tax breaks, yep. right? No corporate income tax, um, no income tax personal. Um, as well, and then we've got less regulations and restrictions as Cal than California. Um, obviously, they're trying to control yes. every part yep. of everything in California. Nevada's not like that. Yeah, and I will say, ironically enough, the people who ask us the question most um, are coming out this way because they're tired of the sort of California politics and regulations and rules and all that different stuff. And so they want to make sure we're not too much um, like that. And uh, so far, we're not, right? Absolutely. So and that being said, we will touch on politics at the end of this video. Yeah, so if, you, if that's tuned. yeah, stay tuned. But if that's your main uh, point of interest, we do touch on that. Yeah, as we well, will hit so. it. I do also want to give a shout out to uh, Gavin Newsom. Um, you've been one of our best business partners that we've had yet. Keep sending them over. Only the good ones. The yeah. bad ones stay put. Yeah, and I will uh, also quick shout out. You know, I'm not not a political guy myself, but did want to shout out um, to his basketball game. If you saw that <laughs> clip of him trying to play basketball with some children in China, I believe uh, he he ran one right over. Um, so didn't didn't have the best crossover before he took a kid out. So too funny. But with that being said, uh, the population obviously has been on the uh, the incline here yep. in northern Nevada. We've had about a uh, net positive of 34 percent right yeah so right. the numbers that we kind of looked at basically we're saying that for every 100 people that move out of the reno area 134 people are coming in right yep. so um just a steady increase nothing too crazy in a sense right but just a steady growth Definitely. of about 34 percent then not a whole lot of negative impacts um in my personal opinion with um the influx of people moving here but the housing market ryan and i are licensed agents in nevada right? that's why we do this so. that's why we're putting out all these videos um and the demand has gone up like crazy home prices have soared higher than they've ever been um and just to uh give an example of that the median sales price in 2015 was two hundred and ninety thousand yep. dollars, Ryan? What are we at right now? We're at about five sixty, depending on where you look and the information Jesus. that we're getting. We've been hovering around five fifty now for a couple of years. We've seen it as high as about five seventy five um, as the median home price, but yeah, right around five sixty there. So Eight obviously, years, we've doubled. Yes, just a huge increase there. So um, a lot of people were buying when those interest rates were lower. Interest rates have gone up now, so. You're kind of, you know, doubled, doubled down there on on tough times for some buyers out there. But, yep. um, 
in general, we don't see that home price. We do not see a crash happening in our market. And that's because we do have such an influx of people coming in this way still. So. Absolutely. And that I would say is, um, that's been a tough one for locals to swallow, yep. just to see home prices increase that quickly. Obviously the, uh, we looked at the median home price in the Bay area. Um, and it's about 1.125 million. Yes, and that's why we wanted to compare that as well, right? Because when people ask us, you know, are we becoming too much like California? Obviously that, that increase in pricing hurts us locals and hurts a lot of buyers, um, but we're not still so absurd that, you know, some of the stuff we've seen from different people where they're selling sort of a, a, a rundown home that hasn't or been renovated or anything and is just on some acreage in the hills in San Jose or whatever it may be still going for 1.25 million. Yeah. Right? We're, yep. that's, that is not where we are at. at Absolutely. All, so. um, but just wanted to point that out. Um, as far as the weather goes, I know Southern California, California gets, um, you know, they, they, that's what they, people they talk about. Some of the best that's what people talk about for California, yeah. right? And so same thing with the Bay Area, right? You know, you do have some of your stormy weather. It does get a little bit colder, but supposedly California, you know, just some of the best weather. We personally um, love our weather. We have 300 plus days of sunshine. We've got all four seasons. We are, um, oh, Halloween is tomorrow. Yeah. So we're shooting this here on a Monday, October Gorgeous 30th. Out. And yeah, if I, I'm moments away from probably taking this off. If I'm in the shade, I definitely want it on. Yeah. But just an absolutely beautiful day. So. Absolutely. Um, as far as the weather, we are, I mean, huge advocates. Obviously, we love all four seasons that we have. Yep. The fall could be one of our favorite seasons just because of the beauty, right? All of the landscape, all the trees changing. Um, and it's gorgeous out. I could definitely take off the jacket right now yeah. and not need it. But yeah, wanted to touch on weather there. And obviously we mentioned Tahoe and all of our videos or, or a lot of our videos just because of proximity, right? Yep. So um, as far as Californians and, and they've got, uh, you know, the beaches and all that different stuff, uh, Tahoe is a paradise. Definitely. So we, we still have, have that as well. Yeah, we've um, got uh, La Haunton Lake Trout too in yeah. Pyramid Lake. You don't have that, California? No, you don't. You don't. No, you don't. We're the only ones. Um, so. <laughs> Do we have some of the same benefits that California has? Obviously, is kind of what we're getting at. Absolutely, but uh, we we like ours better. And so far, Tahoe always does get crowded on the weekends and during summer and whatnot. But that's that's always been the way it is. Definitely, that's, that's and, not necessarily just a more people here now uh, mm -hmm. problem. It's just people take advantage of Tahoe and smog. Uh, we don't. Look at that. I'm yeah, not seeing clear. any smog. That's an N over there on the mountain. You guys could probably see that. N for Nevada right there. We're right by the university. But yeah. The air you pollution. Can, you, can, you can see it all from here. Yeah. Because there are no clouds in the sky today and we're just looking at blue sky. Absolutely. So our air quality is going to be night and day different. Um, and typically the fires that we get, I did want to touch on that too, actually, right? The fires that we get for the air quality coming from California. Coming from California. The air smoke. quality whenever we have problems. So that is something that we deal with, but uh, yeah, when you compare the two, right, uh, California still got it worse because that's where the fire and the smoke is coming exactly, from. Exactly, exactly. So the next one we're going to touch on is a funny one. Uh, drives me absolutely nuts. Is the drivers and the traffic? Yeah. Um, I will say with with those numbers, that thirty four percent sort of increase we've talked about with people out here. Um, there are a considerable amount of California plates out here now. Um, and you know, they're you notorious. Can, you for... can you can be a bad driver from any state, and you yeah. can be a bad driver, Nevada driver. But uh, typically, the California plate just seems to stick out a little bit more, and those are the ones that seem to, to to be doing some dumb things out on the road. And we got winter coming up, so if you are coming out, um, keep that in mind that uh, driving in winter conditions is not the same. Just slow it down. Yeah, right. Slow it Make down. Make sure you come to a complete stop if you're in the snow before turning. Otherwise, you're just going to keep on sliding. Or start to stop uh, before you're, whatever, 10 feet in front of the stop sign because you'll you'll go right through that stop absolutely. sign. You'll slide right past it. Blinkers, so. they go a long way. Don't forget to hit that yep, on the we, left, the right. We do use our blinkers as well. So. Um, but no, it's so funny that uh, I, any state, anywhere I'm at, especially in Idaho where I'm coming from, anytime you see a Nevada plate, it's just like you're hyper-focused on it. And you just think they're going to be such a jerk. Um, so we just had to touch on that because it is funny. Reno has plenty of terrible drivers out there. Um, Idaho has terrible drivers. My uncle Greg backed into my car. <laughs> in his own there. driveway. Yeah. In his and own driveway. And it was parked. Thanks, so, Uncle Greg. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I did want to touch on traffic as well, right? Because it's not just California drivers coming in, but with more people, we do have uh, more people on the road. So those rush hour times are a little bit more busy than they used to be. Uh, rush hour out here 
drive times that are sometimes as much as 40 minutes, depending on where you might be going. Um, for a lot of people are still just com don't even compare to large cities, yeah, right? Absolutely. For commute times. And so. that's all of our clientele that we'll, we'll, we'll let them know like, Hey, obviously you're coming from Southern California, the Bay. We don't have traffic compared yeah. to where you guys are yeah. at due to the influx of people, our infrastructure, um, I don't think was prepared. And so we do have road construction going on. It seems like nonstop all the time, everywhere. And that's going to slow things down as well. Yeah. And they've done a pretty good job though. They did a huge section of 395 basically yep. that stunk for three, four days, yeah, whatever, yeah, where yeah. they had lanes shut down. And then now I'm, I can't raise Cruising. enough about how great the road is. I so, agree. Yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, talking about transportation, let's get into the airport. What Straight to, yeah. So the airport they're working on currently right now, um, which is awesome, right? We do have a smaller airport. Uh, most of our flights typically we've had to, you know, there's, there's a connection, right? So we, yeah. we don't have the big airports like LAX, the, you know, San Francisco. Um, so, but with more people coming in, they are doing some um, renovations and then also now with that we do expect yeah some some uh some more flights coming in and more direct flights yes. right because we do have a lot of connections yeah. if you're flying out absolutely and whatever. i just flew into lax um this past summer the airport it was crazy huge we had to get a rental car as well um it was not pleasant it was not fun you are just stuck in back to bumper to, you're just going you know at snail speed so if you're in a rush in anywhere near that airport like you're not making it to where well, and you're that's, trying to get to. That's sort of the beauty of the small airport too, exactly. right? Is every now and again, it stinks that you have that, you know, layover or connecting flight. Um, I typically leave my house and I'm at the airport about an hour before my flight leaves. I walk through security in 15 minutes, yeah. grab yep. a beer, and then I'm on the plane it, and good to go. Absolutely. So. Exactly. You're going through security so quick and then you're just hanging. So that is the beauty of it. Um, but let's talk about entertainment. Yeah, so we are not, uh, where is California coming straight to, to us? I guess you could say that's happened um, in Las Vegas as they've gotten a bunch of, yeah. uh, you know, professional sports team. We have minor league sports teams yep. out here, right? So and we're that's proud something. of them. Yeah, absolutely. Reno Aces. Reno Aces. How, many, how many Aces players are in the World Series with the Diamondbacks? <sighs> right now, it's I'm, I'm Diamondbacks all the way because there's about six guys on that team Sweet. that are integral parts yeah. that uh, were Aces. So. Yeah. I'm rooting hard for those guys, but yeah. semi-pro hockey team as well. Yep. Um, it, the entertainment, right? We've got some good comedians. Bill Burr was just here. I saw Kevin Hart a while ago. Seinfeld comes here every year, every yeah. other year at Concerts. least, right? So we've Tahoe. got, we, yeah. Tahoe's got a great venue. The amphitheater uh, and Sparks. Yep. Right by the, the Nugget there. Yeah. Like yeah. Blanking, so. so again, we are the biggest little city in the world. Um, we don't have what LA has to offer. San Francisco has to offer but we're right there yeah if you're looking for fun you you'll still find it definitely so. um and at a, an affordable price right yes. we were just talking earlier that you can hit an aces game you know the whole family drinks food and all that's under a hundred dollars yeah and if you're going to whatever it may be a giants i used to go to cubs giants every year and that was one of the, the vacations that was a hallmark for me and it was like we got to save for this right yeah. we're gonna go to san francisco oh, yes. for three days and go see some baseball games we're spending a pretty penny so a couple jesus um, yeah so being able to just go hit an aces game and hang out for a day and have it be affordable is great so and we think the number one reason why uh, people are moving here from California is because just the po the politics the still politics. is kind of, and that's why I think we want to do this video is because that's the number one question that people associate with yep. you know are, are we too much like California now um, and the answer to that is no nowhere right? near it nowhere um, near it and the clientele too that we have moving here they always ask us like well our neighbors aren't going to be from California or you know <laughs> uh, chances are a lot of them are going to be from California, there's there is that potential yeah but they are like-minded Californians that are also wanted to leave California whether you left 10 15 years ago or as recent as you know 2023 exactly um, you're going to be like-minded Carson City is quite a bit different than Reno um, in the sense that uh, Carson, Minden, Gardnerville, really anywhere rural. All of all of northern Nevada uh, votes red, basically. Very conservative. Washoe County, which includes Reno then, is, Joe said, basically purple, right? It's, I call it's a, it a purple, but we, yeah, we went blue, but it's just... We've been blue, but it's, yeah. a, it's basically a 50-50 split. It's right there. So... Um, um, yeah, nothing too crazy. We're not, uh, we don't, we're not like Clark County. That's overwhelmingly blue. Um, I love it here just because I think it's a nice mix, a mix. of, of just normal, good people. Right. Definitely. So I think everyone's just trying to kind of ride the middle 
versus this or that, yep. to put it that way. Yeah, so. and I did, uh, we didn't write it down to, um, but the homeless situation as well. Um, I, we always hear it too from clients coming over. We're nowhere near any part of California when it comes to the homeless. We do have a small population, um, but yeah, we're not uh, we're not what some of the the horror stories that you've heard of in San Francisco and the Bay Area and different stuff uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. so it's uh, downtown. You're gonna see them. It's not ideal, but it's not uh, camps and, no. and and stuff like that. They're not running any any street section. You no, know, any no. any area. But uh, there you have it, guys. That is uh, why Reno, Northern Nevada, is completely different from California. Still our favorite place to be, obviously. Absolutely, and why the exodus of California is going to continue. And just lastly, we'll say, every Californian that we've ever had, that we've ever worked with that came out this way, great people. Great people. Absolutely great people. So, but did just want to answer that question for everybody who's constantly curious and wondering. If you got a, a comment to say about my hair, what I'm wearing, what we said, <laughs> drop it below. We'd yeah. love to we love to chat with you guys. Um, if you are thinking about moving here, call us, text us, email us. We're the guys on the other side. Um, would love to work with you. Yeah. We're here to help. So till the next time.